We launched virtualized network services. Uh, we were calling it SDVPN, um, but really virtualized network services is recognizing that the branch and the um, cloud needs to be considered as one cohesive environment. So branch networks have stood still for decades, and this is the Cisco territory, if you will. What we've done is we've gotten SDN technology, the abstraction and automation that we provided in the data center, which has now been deployed in many private and public clouds to the branch networks. And so essentially what it is, is in the end, it's about SDN taking hold in the data center and us branching out. Um, and that's what we've done. So we allow for enterprises to connect their business locations um, anywhere on any network, uh, public or private, on any access to be connected instantly through a policy-based infrastructure and to any private or public cloud. There's few. Um, mainly it's all about providing um, networks that are completely boundaryless. Um, it's about providing that fluidity. It's about making sure that applications can stretch into multi, multiple DCs, data centers. It's about providing a solution that provides flexibility and choice without compromise. Um, so the way we have done our um, Nuage network solution is about for VSP, which is Virtualized Services Platform, as well as VNS, Virtualized Network Services, which we launched yesterday. It's about providing full flexibility and choice, flexibility of the network, underlying network infrastructure, flexibility of the hypervisor technology, flexibility of cloud management platform, and now with VNS, we have introduced the concept of an open CPE. So it's really no more this vertically integrated branch router. A, any x86 platform with our software can be deployed as a branch CPE. And it has the same smarts. It's controlled from the policy and the SDN controller in the sky, if you will. Uh, and so it scales really well. It provides complete automation. And best of all, it's self-service. Uh, so it's like having a mobile phone attached to the network anytime, any place, any cloud. And also it's about exactly the way you uh, activate a service plan, a mobile service plan. Any branch can be activated very quickly, just like you activate a mobile service plan or your DSL modem or your cable modem. With the VNS solution, we are targeting both the large enterprises that typically like to manage their wide area um, network connectivity themselves, uh, or service providers to do it for the enterprises. And it's a multi-tenant solution, which is another big differentiator compared to other early branch solutions, if you will. And the biggest difference, as I said earlier, is the fact that we are looking at not just solving the issues in the branch, but from the branch over the wide area to the cloud, private or public. Complete cohesive environment, full automation, end to end, all policy based, all based on business needs. As the business needs a certain agility, we offer that very, very quickly, effortlessly, consistently. So enterprise CIO's biggest challenges are about delivering the business agility with operational simplification. Their challenge is to really create the convergence of IT and IP, dev and ops, uh, to realize the true benefit of cloud. What they're seeing right now is enterprise users are going around them and deploying applications in AWS. And that sends shivers down their spine. And what they want to do instead is build a private cloud infrastructure that's as agile, as responsive, as automated, as programmable as AWS. And that's exactly what we deliver to them. They see real business benefit and we really provide with the automation framework the ability to have any workload, virtualized, bare metal or container to be connected to the network, to the right application based on the policies that they have set instantly, anytime, any place, any cloud. And now with VNS, we have included the branch. So it's 
all about having the right SDN. Once you have the right SDN, everything makes it very easy in terms of the uh, agility that you want to drive to the businesses. It's about in the end bringing, as I said yesterday, cloud speed to the enterprise.